Hello there, welcome to 5 Minutes Math by James Long. Now in today's lesson, we're going to learn about heuristics. Now what is heuristic? It is simply a very big word that means different ways of solving problems. Of course, the more ways you know, the better. Now today we're going to examine a particular heuristic. Now in today's lesson, we look at the heuristic known as model drawing. We're going to draw before and after model. And the concepts that will be involved in today's lesson will be internal transfer, as well as total remains unchanged after the transfer is done. Now let's look at, at, at this question. Now Zelia had $300 more than her sister. After Zelia gave one sixth of her money to her sister, Zelia had the same amount as her sister. How much money did Zelia have at first and how much money did they have altogether? Now we usually do not approach the question, yet we should first look at the problem, at the story and understand the story. Let's try to understand the story now. Now, Zilla had this amount of money, more than her sister, before she gave her money away. So let's do a before model. So Zilla and her sister, and where Zilla had $300 more than her sister. Right? $300 more than her sister. So what happens after giving the money away? Well, sister's money must increase, right? And Zelia's money must decrease. So after giving away some money to her sister, now it will change to something that looks like this. Now notice the green part remains unchanged. Zelia's and sister's portion here. But which part changed? This part in yellow changed. So how did sister get this amount of money? Obviously, sis Zelia gave some of it to her. So how do we find out what this is? Very simple. Do you see that these are two equal parts? And this all came from this yellow portion? So $300 divided by 2, I'll have $150. So this is $150. Now, what does that mean? We know that Zelia gave one-sixth of her money to her sister. That means that one part of Zelia's money is equal to $150. Now, Zelia has six parts of money because if she didn't give away her money, she have all six parts. So, before she gave away, that will be her amount of money, six parts. Six times 150 and that will be $900. Now, before giving the money away to sister, sister has $300 less than Zelia. What does that mean? That means that sister would have $900 less $300. Sister would have $600 to begin with. Now, are, are we sure we are right? Let's do some check to be sure. I have a checking column right here. And let's see. If Zelia really had $900 to begin with, and she gave away $150, she should have $750 left. And if sister really had $600 to begin with, and she received $150 from Zelia, then she would have $750. Now notice that these two numbers are the same, and that meets this criteria. Zelia had the same amount as her sister. So this tells us that our method is correct. Now we're confident, and we can look at the question. It says that how much money did Zelia have at first? Well, we got it. This is the amount she had at first, part A. This will be our answer. And next part here, how much money did they have all together? Well, all together will be very simply Zelia's amount of money that plus what sister had at first, that will be equivalent to $1,500. Remember to put down the question at the side. Now that you have understood this, let's try to do another question. Let's try this question on your own. I will not go through this with you today. All right, in the next lesson, I will begin with this solution. Now, take a look, good look. Okay, you can always pause here and try the question on a piece of paper. Now, let's do a recap. In today's lesson, we learned how to draw before and after model. We also learned these two concepts, internal transfer with the total unchanged. Well, that's five minutes math today. Thank you for listening. All the best.